are you ready? Are you ready for the second one? Um, yes, 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 I should be ready, I should be ready. Okay. Time I don't. You go on. Um, I was given sports, sports show. Is that what you picked out of the calabash? Yeah. <laughs> You picked like it up, like you were not even giving it Yeah, but it was like a, you know, and it just came to me. So how, how good is your sports knowledge? My sports knowledge, it's not super, but it's, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. I can hold a conversation about sport and all sorts of sports. All right, I can't, yeah. so I can You can't. It in. Yeah. I'll be your back, I'll be your back. Come. Okay. It's another episode of Sports Spot on Footprint Media Television. I am Bex and Davilima, going to give you a roundup of everything that's happened in the world of sport this past week. There's a brand new sport that, hits the, that has hit the Olympics, handball. Yes, I said it, handball. It is a sport. And if you are wondering what it is exactly, we'll be hanging out with Limonka, who's going to try out with the national handball team later on. And I will, of course, be trying to break a sweat as I go head-to-head -head with South Africa's number one, testing my goalkeeping skills with Itumele Nkul. As a Pirates fan, I'm sure I will be taking, having the upper hand on that one. So please hang out with us for the next uh, 30 minutes as we take a look at the roundup of sports. And before we get into that, the funniest moment in the world of sports this past week. Who's family? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I love about your family? Is it doesn't even look that much like no, it. Doesn't. Really? It so, yeah. You're just saying that because you like my shoes, but okay. Let's go with that. But listening to you and trying to follow the script at the same time, you said things that were not exactly on the script, but it still made sense. You still mm. portrayed the message. Mm. Okay. Awesome. So awesome. I like that. So the fumbling is good if you can pick yourself up and move on. It's the nerves, really, you know. You guys looking at me like it's that, asking for so it much. but it's yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So what are you saying? I say yes. Okay, yes is good. Let's see this, let's see this. <laughs> I'll be the last one. Oh, oh okay. okay. Are you, are you <laughs> going to be the tiebreaker? Why, why do you say tiebreaker like you're about to say no? Don't say no. Tiebreaker. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think I agree very much with Gladys. Um, I think the fact and the whole point of this exercise giving you sort of half an hour beforehand is to see whether how quickly you can grasp the, con the content of a script not necessarily word for word yes um, I mean I'm personally from a from a from a the, the type of person that I'm looking for for a presenter is somebody who can just roll with the punches type okay. of thing as yeah. opposed to and if they get stuck they sort of ease their way through mistakes and that sort of thing. And I, and I really, really think you did that today. It's very so well. Um, I think, I, I actually think you did brilliantly. Yeah. Oh, I'm very, brilliant. very happy. I love brilliant. So I'm going to burst in Jerry's bubble. And <laughs> she's not going she's to not gonna be the tiebreaker and I'm going to say yes as well. Yes. <laughs> Jerry, you can it say doesn't yes matter too. what I say now. No, but please just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> just like. Okay, so you've got three yeses. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know how to dance for making it up as I go along. Mike is mine. Mike is mine. <laughs> thank you very much, Dexter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.